Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today I'm going to show you how to create custom functions. So have you ever found yourself reusing a set of functions over and over again? Um, this is going to help. It's not exactly the same as creating your own custom function and being able to pass parameters in and out. It's a little bit of a workaround, but it's a really great way to trigger the same function uh, multiple times. And then if you need to go and update that function, it's super easy. You just update it in one place and then everywhere else will adopt that new change. So what I have here is I have a list of accounts and their cities. The code that we're gonna want to be reusing, we're gonna find some similar businesses and we're going to calculate a score, right? So we're gonna find some uh, accounts that share the same city and based on the number of counts that um, are similar, we're gonna give them a score. So for example, if I just kind of click through, you can kind of see what's happening. It's going through and it's looking at all the different accounts that match this city. So what's interesting is if you take a look at the on select of this gallery, there's not really anything in here. So I'm setting a variable account to the selected uh, item in the gallery, and I'm updating this variable. So this variable is actually kind of acting as our function, and this other variable, this var account, that's acting as our parameter. So the actual function is living on a different screen in a toggle. So you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a collection of similar accounts and I'm setting the account score variable and I'm just counting the collection and uh, multiplying by a random number essentially. But what's really cool about this, is if I update this to let's say, actually we need to change it to eight, right? If I had this in multiple places, you know, on multiple galleries, um, I would have to update it in each spot. But what's really cool is if I reference this toggle and I select, you'll see we get eight. It updates. It's going to update everywhere. And so the way this works is we are updating a variable in the default property of this toggle. So I have, I'm essentially using the name of the function, right? Uh, var get account score. And every time this gallery is selected, I'm just flopping it. And you can see my function is living in the on change. So every time it changes, every time the toggle changes, um, it'll trigger my function. And as far as parameters go, it's not exactly the same as functions usually work, um, but you can see I'm using var account. That is essentially my parameter. From the perspective of calling the function, I have to do two things. If I have any parameters, I have to set those. In this case, I do. I have var account, so I'm setting that parameter that I'm kind of passing into the function. And then I'm updating the default of the toggle, right? So that will actually trigger my function. And you might be asking, why am I not using buttons? So the problem with buttons is you can only select a button on the current page. So if you have multiple pages, if you need that function on multiple pages, um, you're gonna have to copy and paste the button. And again, you run into the issue of now I have to keep all those buttons in sync, which is kind of a pain. Now I am aware of the new, um, the new updates to components that can kind of do something similar. You can actually create a function within a component and then pass parameters uh, in and out of it. I wouldn't really recommend that just yet. Um, you can't actually pass records or tables into those functions. If you've ever used components, you know that when you use a record or table uh, data type in a input or output property, you have to set the shape of it. There's currently no area to do that in the new update. So once that updates, I'll show you how to do that. Um, for now, this is actually, in my opinion, the easier way to do it. So there we go. We are using toggles to create custom functions that we can pass parameters into using variables and pass parameters out also using variables. We can then just update that function in one place and use it anywhere in our app. As always, feel free to reach out. You can contact me or go to congruentx.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.